What's going on guys, it's Spyro, and today I have a little tutorial for you. Now I'm sure that you've seen my speed arts and my character illustrations, but I don't know if you know how I do them. So today I'm going to be kind of showing you how I do that. Now, who I'm going to be demonstrating that on is this lovely lady who is known by sore butters and I'm gonna put a picture of her up right now and um, so I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to um, just make a character out of that and so let's get started all right so butters has this kind of she has very blue eyes and very long blonde hair so She's a just she is a generally very positive person in my opinion. So uh, when I draw her, also be when you sketch a character, just kind of be prepared to erase a lot. So when I draw butters here, so you're gonna start off with kind of a circle. Or the face. You're always gonna start off with a circle. Let's see. She always has this kind of like a like a smirk, like a face. And <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So you kinda have to draw she has a jaw kind of like It's kind of square towards the bottom. In this, I'm going to be also drawing her snake Poe, um, just to kind of give it more of a personal feel to it. I'm just going to have her, let's see, here's a circle for that shoulder and a circle for this shoulder. Now she's facing kind of like, like to the side, at a, like at an angle. So that's why this is kind of like in perspective. I'm going to kind of work on the body a little bit and then we will get back to the face and that's where I'll talk more about how to illustrate a character's face and such. So. <laughs> basic body form. So now for her face, let's see she has mildly thin eyebrows I would say. They kind of have an arch kind of like this. Same thing with the other eyebrow. Now when you draw the other eyebrow, don't make it go all the way to like, don't Kind of leave some of it off because if you were to put the whole entire eyebrow on there it will look kind of weird in this particular style this is kind of just my style yeah so those are her eyebrows um her eyes now when drawing a character um i don't really give the most realistic looking eyes uh she has really big really pretty blue eyes. So I'm going to just draw them kind of like, you kind of give them like this arch, like this. And I'm, I apologize for the whole upside down drawing thing. Um, I will get that fixed eventually, but this is all I can do right now. So that's the top of the eye when you, I'm very like non-talkative when I'm drawing because I'm just, I concentrate a lot, but um, when you take that, I actually fixed the eye to where it had more of a curve, um, you make the other eye like this. So it kind of has this whole like, kind of looks like a lemon in my opinion. Um, so you want to give her a top eyelid like that. Kind of just go right over the top of the eye. You don't have to make it too exaggerated. Um, 
She doesn't wear a lot of makeup, so I'm just gonna give her a little bit of lashes just to define her eyes a little more. Hands are very hard, in my opinion. They're very difficult to achieve. Now you're going to kind of define her face. Her nose, it, she doesn't have a big nose, so there's no need for a really big nose. You're just gonna kind of, just a little curve right there. Okay, actually, I'm just gonna go back to her smiley. And she has some very high um, cheekbones, so they come kind of out like right here. So we're gonna enhance that. In the mouth, you're gonna kind of bring down like this. Kind of like this. And just kind of give her that big grin because she has a very big grin. Now for her eyes. She, I think, is going to be, I think I'm going to have her looking at her snake. Now for her hair. Now her hair is very long. It kind of has a wave to it. And you want her part. Like, when you draw hair, always remember to, um, don't go directly on the scalp line right here. You just want to do it a little above it. That way it gives the hair more volume. Now for her snake. But her snake looks like this right here. So he's going to be going under her hair and kind of down and around her arm. So that's basically the sketch of sore butters. Alright guys, so now it's time to illustrate the character. Alright, you know what, here's what we're going to do. Alright, here's the sketch. And I'm just going to copy the image and then I'm going to paste it in Illustrator. So, let's just cancel that. And then I'm going to go Command V. And that will paste it into Illustrator. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to double click on the layer and I'm going to click template and that's going to dim the image to 50% and that's also going to lock it. So if I click on it, it doesn't do anything. All right, this is the, where the whole thing starts off. So you make a new layer like I did. You take the fill and you press this little box with the slash that says none. So now you have no fill. I usually double click and then I just put it to black. Sometimes I like to get creative with it, but right now I'm not. I'm just going to go with plain black. Um, I'm going to go to brushes and I'm going to go to new brush. I'm going to go to ca calligraphic brush. I think that's how you say it. You go to set this to three. Go to pressure and you have to have a tablet, just by the way in order to achieve pen pressure. If you do not have a tablet, then pen pressure will not work for you. I use a Wacom Intuos, and it's like, this is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, set it to pressure, and then you're gonna put the variation up to three. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna start just drawing. So, you just kinda all the lines from here. Let's just start with her nose. And notice, like, if I press lightly, it's lighter. It's a thinner line, but when I press harder, it goes into a thicker line. So that's how you achieve the print pressure. Um, I'm going to zoom in on her eye and just kind of follow the line. So yeah, um, I'm going to finish the line art and then we'll get into coloring.
we're basically done with the um, the line art of butters. So now it's coloring time. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to select the whole layer. We're gonna go to object, expand appearance, and then object expand. We're going to go to Merge. We're going to go to Back to Object and Path path Cleanup. Try again. You'll know that it cleaned it up when the, um, the box over here is just a fill. Okay, maybe we'll select it again. Okay, it should still work, but usually it'll just do a fill in that box. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to lock the line art layer. So we're going to title this line art. This layer is going to be our coloring layer. So, Butters has very blue eyes, she has very blonde hair, and she has uh, white skin. So, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, take something that looks kind of complicated to color, for instance, um, Let's do the skin because of the small little eyelash things, like the little those things right in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill. I'm right, going to get kind of a light um, tone here. Um, all right. That's not working very well, so I'm going to have to go to RGB. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to make a square. Or whatever, whatever shape is okay. Go to Object, Arrange, Send it Back. Now, I should be able to click both of these. You're going to Shift and click Select the Square and Select the Line Art. You're going to go back up to Merge. Then you'll take the Direct Selection tool, and you're going to click the outside and just press delete and it does that so now you have the thing fully colored but now you just need to go back and select different things so I'm gonna go and select the two eye whites now I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and color this um, and then we'll get on to shading finished coloring and I'd say that looks pretty you know it resembles her pretty well so let's get on to shading um let's see we're gonna go ahead and name this uh, bases and then to shade shadow so when you shade what you're going to do is first you're going to lock your basis layer and then you're going to take your eyedropper tool and I'm going to shade her we'll shade her face so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to stroke and I'm just going to go slightly or like over here in a darker skin tone and then I'm going to go back to my brush tool and I'm going to set the size to about three Zoom in on her face. Um, see my light, and the top lip, as you can see, is always going to be darker than the bottom lip because, like, if there was light coming in from above, the under part of the lip 
would not be the the light would not hit there where it would hit the bottom lip so that's why the dark lip is always on top usually unless the light is coming in from like the bottom or a bottom area then usually the top lip would be more lit and then the bottom area would be darker so yeah I'm just gonna shade this and I'll get back to where lighting is shading her it's time to add some light to her so now we're going to go to shadow we're gonna walk it and we're gonna take layer 7 which is going to be our light layer and we're going to put it below the shadow layer so to start off let's start with her face again we're going to give a lighter color and we're just gonna highlight certain things now this process is not as tedious as the shadow but um, you still have to get some spots so so yeah let's um, add some light to this and then we will continue we have her all you know lightened and shadowed um, I'm gonna actually go in and add some backlight now backlight is kind of where I don't know how to explain it it's like um it hits the shadow but it's like reflecting like it just gives your character um, depth in my opinion so so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in some backlight and then we'll get on to the Photoshop process. Okay, so now we have finished basically the, um, the layout of the illustration. Um, here's what we're going to do. We are going to take the the base. We're going to duplicate the layer, put the copious layer below the base layer. You don't have to do that, but I prefer to. Um, you're gonna uh, keep the bases layer locked and um, unlock the bases copy layer, and you're going to toggle the visibility of the bases layer. So you're, what you're going to do is press this little circle which selects the whole entire layer. You're going to go to Window, Pathfinder, which is already open over here, and you're gonna to go to Unite. And that's going to make the whole entire layer one shape. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take the stroke, and you're gonna put the stroke right there, make it fill, And then put the stroke up, uh, you can do five, and then you're going to toggle back the visibility of your basis layer. So now it kind of gives it that um, more of a more outlined look and that way it doesn't have the whole uh, same outline around the whole entire thing so it gives it a little more variation. So now it is time to get onto the Photoshop part of it. Alright, so now we've gotten to the Photoshop process. So what we're going to do is make a new um, 
file. I don't even know. I can't think right now. Um, tile it butters. Keep the resolution at 72 for web. For printing, uh, I suggest 300 dpi. Um, for the background contents, we're going to put it to transparent and everything looks good, so we're going to do okay. Now I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, go to Female, Butters.ai, Place. So this isn't a very um, tedious process. It just um, I'm gonna do some levels, but um, it's not that big of a process to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right. So that is basically it on how to make a character. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave a comment if you, I should do more tutorials for you guys. Um, what would you like me to do tutorials on? And um, be sure to subscribe to show your support. So this has been my uh, SOAR Design Recruitment Challenge entry, and this is SOAR Butters, as y'all can see. And I will see y'all later.